to the only national holiday that you can repeat every single Monday, Chest Day! Alright guys, so today is Chest Day. Okay, one of the most talked about, disputed lifts that there is. Simply put, you guys are gonna comment on this a lot. So, today, how I teach is, is a little bit of a powerlifting sport mentality, okay? So, starting from bottom to top, okay? It's how we did the squat video. As he comes in, your feet wanna be planted, okay? If you're tall enough to plant your feet, some people can, okay? We always wanna think about driving through our feet. So our feet wanna be in a nice, stable position, solidly put on the floor. He's gonna lay back, plant his feet, okay? Way I do it, great way to set your hands for if you're a beginner is where the knurling is or the grippy stuff here. You're gonna put your thumb at the very edge and then you're gonna wrap your hands around it, okay? That way you know you're square and parallel on the bar. So Mike's gonna go ahead and do that. Now we're gonna do it, we're gonna show you this in a different way after this part, but here's a great tip, okay? A lot of people think that you have to have a flat back, okay? That's old school mentality. The reason why we don't want to have a flat back is we want to have tension in our spine and create tension through our body, okay? Also, what we're going to do is he's going to actually kind of pull himself up and he's going to pinch his shoulder blades together in like this fashion. So he's going to pull together and he's going to have this tightness right here, okay? So from here, that increases our, st our tension through our chest. It actually pre-stretches our chest like a rubber band and it actually locks in our shoulder blades so that we don't get shoulder injuries and we get less movement. Less movement, more tension, more strength output. Okay, so Mike has a setup, okay? His feet are planted, small tiny arc in his back. He's laying on his shoulder blades, there's tension there. His hands are set. As he releases the bar, what we wanna do, he wants to lift straight up and bring the bar out to his chest and be stable, okay? Don't ever start going into your lift. Stabilize first. The point where we're aiming for is kind of right lower sternum, okay? So if you put your hand in the middle of your nipples, right through there, that's kind of a great area to start with if you're a beginner. You can change up and do different ways as you get more advanced, okay? From here, he's gonna think about pulling his elbows down, not dropping the bar to his chest, but physically pulling his bar down to his chest. This will help also engage the lats, which creates more tension and sets a platform for us. So he's gonna go ahead and lower the bar down to his chest, aiming almost for where his OG logo is. He's then going to drive out squeeze his chest at the top, okay? Really think about pulling your elbows down, great, and then extending out and pushing the triceps, good. You always wanna think about kind of pushing your elbows out and in, or hands out, elbows in. So here we go, down, great, drive through. Notice that his elbows are not winged out. We want them to be almost bent in just a little bit. That helps us engage our triceps and gets, takes a little bit of the pressure off his front shoulder. Okay, two more reps, down smooth, drive out, breathe out. You wanna breathe in on the way down, breathe out, great, one more. And great, now rack it, come straight back, drop and lower. That's how you bench. 